Hey dudes and chicks and neither of those rules don't apply to you. Welcome to Ray Cross Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be doing an episode of Hump It or Dump It where I talk about makeup that actually gets me hot or makeup that I just as soon wipe my ass with. So if you guys are interested in seeing like what things I think are like what are what things are on my radar, what things look appealing to me or what things I think look sh like shit, then just hang out. So I just opened up my Instagram to kind of, I made a little listy poo here. Now I'm going to say one thing is that it's been a while. I haven't really been that excited about makeup for a while and I'm just now starting to get like really supercharged about it and getting like really um, fired up about new makeup releases and also um, I, I feel like the things that are uninteresting to me are like kind of just falling away like from everywhere like I just don't see them. It's probably because of like smart recognition in your phone or whatever but like I just really don't see any of the things that I don't really care for and honestly like Sitting here and talking shit about Morphe and ColourPop is basically like clubbing a baby seal. It's like, it's easy to talk shit about faceless brands, right? Like brands that you don't like actually, there isn't like a creator connected to those brands where you actually like feel a personal co attachment to the person who created the brands. It's easy to talk shit about Beauty Bay. It's easy to talk shit about ColourPop. It's easy to talk shit about Morphe or Tarte or Too Faced, right? But it's like, when it comes to other brands, if they put out something that I don't really care for, it's not like I'm gonna sit here and smash their fucking brand and like smash their hopes and dreams like that's not who I am so with that in mind I'm gonna get started so the first thing I wanted to talk about is that there's a Instagram page called multi-chrome multi -chrome makeup lover and they're always posting the coolest shit and they're posting this palette but it literally does not say oh it's called the multi-chrome jewels palette and it's fucking beautiful. I honestly went to, I go to stickerdolls.com to find the stuff that they post on their Instagram page and I can never find on their website what they actually post on their Instagram page. I don't know where the disconnect is, but it's super frustrating because she always posts the coolest shit and like I can never find it on the website. So um, yeah, so there's that. It's fucking beautiful. Clarity Cosmetics is coming out with the Lily palette and it is beautiful. The color story looks fantastic. And honestly, so I haven't ever tried Clarity Cosmetics and I've been wanting to. When they came out with the Evil Mermaid palette, I missed the launch because I was so out of the loop, which is why I'm like getting right on top of shit now because like I've been so out of the loop, I don't even know what's coming out and I've missed everything. So basically Clarity Cosmetics came out with the Evil Mermaid and you guys know that shit was right up my alley. The color story was fucking perfect for me. The cover had a mermaid fucking scaly skull on it. Totally cool. And then I saw a review on Instagram about it saying that the new formula wasn't as good as the other formula and that they weren't that happy with the palette. So I kind of held off on getting that even though the palette itself was only $25, which seems like fairly affordable. It seems like an affordable expenditure for a nine pan palette. But then when they came out, so basically I've been wanting to buy something from Clarity Cosmetics since they came out with the Bloom palette because the Bloom palette came out right after the Bad Witch Club palette and they the color stories looked so similar. I thought, do I wish I would have bought that? But the Bad Witch Club was like so much more my aesthetic that I could never have passed it up. However, the color story was very similar and it made me wonder, I, I wonder if the formula of Clarity Cosmetics is as good or comparable or better than the Give Me Glow formula. You guys know I, I love Give Me Glow um, shimmers and also they have a really good formula but their purples I've always, they're, I'm, they're famously difficult for me. They came out with the Lily palette. It looks fucking awesome. Like I think the color story is beautiful. It's really one that's up my alley. It's got the purple, it's got the teals and some uh, amazing fucking shimmers it looks like. So I would really, I would like to fuck this palette. <laughs> I'd fuck it. This is by at Chula's Milky Lashes. And honestly, like I'm not gonna buy this palette. I think that the cover is adorable. I love the color story, but it's, I can't buy it because it's something I have a thousand times. It's actually a little bit boring for me. However, the palette is actually called Milky Shit Palette. and so. I definitely had to include it because honestly like if you're like a collector of makeup or you're like into like totally inappropriate shit like how I am like I would definitely buy this just for that reason except like I can't 
I can't, I don't have room to store palettes just for that reason or whatever, or like if I didn't want to feature it, but it does have pressed glitters. And also, um, it's $28. So it's fucking adorable. And honestly, it's called Milky Shit. And it says Milky Shit on the palette, which makes me fucking <laughs> wet, <laughs> which gets me hot. Okay, Nomad Cosmetics just came out with a palette that I actually don't know the name of. I've seen I actually watched Nikki Raven's entire video on it, and I've seen that a couple other of creators have made videos on it. It's already been sent out in PR, so there's plenty of demonstrations on it, um, but I just looked on the website and it's not for sale yet, and I don't know what the fucking name of it is. The palette itself is going to be $39, and then it also comes with four lip gloss shades that look really pretty. I'm super stoked about the lip gloss shades. They are Lip Gloss A Lip Glosses. Uh, Rose, Lavande, Miel, and Les Fête. And the name of the palette is something French, like Provence something. So anyways, the lip glosses are $12 each, and honestly, they look really interesting to me too. I think the color story looks really fucking pretty, and I'm totally all about it. Moira Cosmetics is coming out with a four palettes. It's called the Celestial Palette Series. They're all pretty neutral, like pretty fucking neutral, but I still think they look cute. They're $17.50 each, and if you're into neutral palettes, there's like two. There's a pink, a green, a peach, and a yellow, the color of the palette, and then actually the color stories kind of match the colors of the palettes that they're in. So they're $17.50 each, $62 for the bundle. They look pretty cute. New Mothership 5 Moonlit Seduction by Pat McGrath. Now, I just want to say, like, I don't, I honestly don't know what the big deal about Pat McGrath shadows are. They really, literally, I had the bronze seduction and it, it didn't seem to blend any better than any other shadow I'd ever played with. Uh, I use so many indie brand shadows that are so good that I, all I can say is like dump it. Like this is a dump. Like it's got two, it's got two pinks and a gray, which honestly, it looks like a pretty palette, but just like, I, I don't know. Like I just don't see what the big deal about Pat McGrath is. Like, I just don't. Sorry. Come for me. I, I want to. Like, I want to. That last Divine Rose palette, like, kind of had me. But honestly, how many palettes do I have that I got for $30 and $40 that have the exact same performance, the exact same shimmers? Like, totally good. You know what I mean? And, like, I can get it for $40 instead of $125. So it's like, I don't know, for 10 shadows or whatever, 10 shadows, it just seems like I just don't see what the big deal is, quite frankly. I actually decluttered my Pat McGrath shadow. Like, I just don't get it. The Michaela J and Glamlight collab. So the first collab palette, I wasn't really that interested in. It just looked like a pastel palette. So, like, I, I'm sure it was, like, good or whatever. It didn't, like, it wasn't, like, a total turnoff or anything. But, like, it wasn't just up my alley because, like, pastel palettes. It looked pretty pastel to me. Um, I, I It looks like this palette put together the second, which is the Ta, I thought it was called. Uh, part two. I, I could have sworn it was called the Ta. Anyways, the color story of this looks really cool, and it probably could, like, complement the other palette really well. I really like the greens and the purples and the blue at the bottom. The only thing about it is, is that Glamlight isn't really my thing, so I'm not really into Glamlight as a, as a brand. I actually just decluttered both of my Glamlight palettes. It's not because they're not good. They're really good. I just, uh, I'm just getting more, like, more drawn to certain brands and, like, less, if I'm not really drawn to it, it's not even on my radar. So I did want to mention it because Michaela J is so fucking cool, and a lot of people love Glamlight and the formula. I'm sure plenty of you guys have gotten this palette. It just, it, it just isn't for me and not because of the color story. The color story really speaks to me. It's just Glamlight as a brand. Like, I just have so many other brands that I love so much that Glamlight just isn't in that, in that anymore. Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I don't know if this is actually old news, but they're dream blushers. Are that, is that what they're called? Dream blush. They come in, they're in compacts. Getting our single blush options added to the sites. It will say sold out. Deets coming soon if you haven't heard. There will be Dream Blush Empty Magnetic Palette available in a duo and quad. So I don't know if these are just coming out as singles or what the deal is, but you can get them in, in compacts on the website right now. And it looks like they have a lot of really great colors. It looks like they're matte, so that's not really a thing that I would actually go out of my way to order online, like, or even at all a matte blush. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty well set on my matte blushes, but um, it still looked interesting and the picture looks beautiful. So Be Perfect Cosmetics just did a collab box with a girl named Tess Daly, and I just really support this 
cause at Tess Daily, Tess.Daily. You can go check her out on Instagram and see like what the thing is. You know, she's just got a different thing going on. So you guys go check it out if you're curious to see. And then she did a box set of her favorite things with Be Perfect Cosmetics and includes the Compass of Creativity North News Eyeshadow Palette, Liquid Shadow in Purple Haze or Pink Champagne, Cheek Liquid Blush, Pout Star Satin Lip Lipstick in, okay, wait, the blush is in Cherub, the lipstick is in Naked, the Pout Line Liner is in Bite Me, the Double Glaze Lipstock Lip Shade in Iced, and the new brow hold. It's $36 for the entire box, which is a super good fucking deal. That's crazy. So anyways, I wanted to mention it and I actually don't know if it's old news, but it seemed like cool to me. The ColourPop Opal of My Eye collection. Now, as I said, it's easy to roast ColourPop. They're a faceless brand. Nobody gives a fuck about them. There's no person on the other end of this brand. However, I actually really like this collection. I think it looks really super pretty. And honestly, if I had the money, I would buy it right now just because it would be affordable. Um, there are, the one that I like is the tealish colored one. There isn't a dark enough matte in there to be like dimensional for me, but the co but the collection on the whole looks really fucking pretty to me and I would buy it in a New York second if I had the money. So, okay. Now, I don't know if the video is up where I talked about the Morphe up till dark up till dawn or whatever the fuck it was. They if you guys talked about how like Morphe is literally dead in the water. Like they might be alive in Ulta and they're doing fine. They're not going broke by any stretch, but they're like dead on the internet, right? Like they're not even on this fucking they're not even in the planet anymore it seems like um they came out with the lucky charms palette and it looks so stupid like i honestly like that up till dawn or whatever it was called looks so interesting and this looks so dumb i just don't understand it but i'm sure a lot of people who like rainbow palettes in in ulta you know you know morphe doesn't really give a fuck if we think they're a big fat joke so whatever blend bunny just came out they just released like sneak peeks they're still sneak peeking all the way up to the red we got a green row we got the yellow um we got swatches comparing the yellows in all three palettes it's called primal i mean it's gonna be good so um they just released the red row today so maybe i'll try to post that but by the time this goes up i'm sure that it will be like I'm sure all the rows will be up. Juvia's Place just came out with a pastel palette. It looks like a super snooze. Honestly, like I've been waiting for Juvia's Place to, I haven't really, I haven't really been paying that much attention to Juvia's Place, but this just seemed like a little bit boring for them. So um, I don't want to talk shit on Juvia's Place at all. Like I know a lot of people really support them, but I just feel like, um, you know, honestly, like, Last year in 2021, there was a lot of releases that I found super boring. And honestly, it almost like it probably it could have like actually, I don't know. I would have like caused so much polarization on my fucking channel if I would have told the truth about what I felt like about a lot of the launches that like I just didn't do it anymore because like I felt like um, a lot of brands that are super supported and super well loved were releasing things that were like kind of in between launches. They were like between our releases that were like. I don't know. They kind of just trying to like, I don't know. Just like releases that weren't that well thought of or not that well curated just to get us to spend money in between the releases that they were going to launch that were actually really fucking spot on. And so it kind of just felt like, I don't know, I kind of just got outside of the loop on that because I wasn't really that interested in a lot of the launches they just got super boring so anyways i'm sure a lot of people ordered those launches and love the fuck out of them so i'm you know it, it is what it is so adept cosmetics is launching a amunet palette now i swear is that like some kind of egyptian shit because i feel like they do they have the most um captivating fucking names of their palettes I feel like I feel like they have some really captivating names they have some plain Jane ones as well they just but I feel like Nine Hydrant and Amunet those are like or Amunet or whatever it's called but anyways they have a light and a dark version and the difference is one color it's Seth Seth is blue in the dark version and it's like a flesh colored in the other version honestly I think they both look good but I would never prefer a, a palette with a flesh color over the top of a palette with a blue so I would obviously get the dark one. The details as of the time I saved this aren't released. Colourpop is releasing a limited edition luxe lipstick vault and the one thing I do want to say about this is I feel like Colourpop has a shithole 
lipstick formula. I know that some people say that it's their favorite. I just feel like their lipsticks leave a ring around the in, inner, inner fucking rim of my lips that's so weird and gross. Like, I don't understand why it does that. I don't know. Doesn't anybody notice this shit but me? So actually, it's like irritating that re they're releasing a whole collection of like regular colored lipsticks because that are going to give you like a gross butthole around the inside of your lips. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is Midas Cosmetics is launching something called, and this might be old news, I, I honestly have looked everywhere and haven't seen anything, and they haven't revealed the entire palette. So in the comments, it says, oh, so pretty, and, and then, oh, she's beautiful, can't wait, and then another one says, you need one, you need one of those, I need one of those in my collection. It actually says you need one of those, but I think that's a typo. It, it, she meant, I need one of those in my collection, and it's the Funk You palette, which I can get on board with that, and it looks like a pretty purple and pink color story with some, with a gold shimmer is what it's showing now, a nice um, inner corner shade, uh, we'll see. I feel like Midas has been a little bit out of the loop for a while, and honestly, I haven't been interested in a Midas launch at, 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 since the Smoky Glow palette, so it would be cool to see them make a little comeback. Also, it's I'm kind of a tough crowd at this point because honestly, like, I own so many palettes that it's like, dude, can I really get another pink and purple palette? Uh, yeah, I can if it's fucking, if it's beautiful, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'll buy whatever repeats or whatever. Like, I'm trying to, like, declutter so that I can actually, like, out with the old, in with the new, right? If it's, like, out of style, get the fuck rid of it so that I can let new stuff come in. Also, it's kind of hard to top. I feel like my collection is, like, so fucking, I mean, it's the best of the best, right? I've, like, gotten it to the point where, like, I've gotten rid of all the shit and I've kept all the good stuff, like, to the point where, like, I actually am getting rid of really good stuff now. Like if I if I declutter my palettes, I'm not getting rid of anything that sucks. I'm getting rid of stuff that's actually really good and also stuff that's really meaningful to me. Like my last declutter was really painful for me. So like for me to like really like see another pink and purple palette, it better be the best pink and purple palette ever. Like it's got to top what I already have and I already have so much good, good shit. So anyways, that's the last of the things I have. I'm so excited to be doing a Humper or Dump It. I hope I wasn't too hard harsh. I hope I wasn't not harsh enough. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this content or if you just like my sparkling personality and my boyish charm. And hang out with me in the comments and tell me what you think about the launches that I mentioned um, and anything that I might have missed. I, I really am counting on you guys to help me get back in the loop because I've been like fucked off, right? If you got like halfway through this video and you were like, oh my god, fucking she's so pretty till she opens her big fucking mouth then go check me out on instagram i don't talk as much on instagram and if you were like oh my god katie don't sugarcoat it why don't you tell us how you really feel then go check out my patreon because i don't hold anything back on my patreon i've been going live at two o'clock mountain standard time every sunday thank you so much for watching you could have been anywhere but you were here wasting your time with me and i totally appreciate you later